Good day fam, this is Tan and welcome back to my channel. Today we'll be doing an installation and review for this product sent out to me from the folks at Screen Protect. Uh, this is to protect your navigation screen and your dash from scratches, fingerprints, and dust. Uh, if y'all been following my channel, you know that about a year ago I did um, install a um, tempered glass screen protector which for the most part did its job. Uh, however, one thing I noticed after prolonged use, especially in hot weather, uh, usually over 90 degrees, I started to notice that the adhesive behind the tempered glass would start to create these air pockets uh, on my screen. And once the temperature went back down to the 70 range, I was able to crease those out, but that was uh, something that was very annoying to me. So. With this product, I am hoping that this will prevent that from happening again. Again, if you are looking for a product to help protect your um, navigation multimedia device screen from dust, fingerprints, and those swirls and scratches from your fingers, take a look at this product. I will put a link in the video description for uh, a discount code if you want to pick this up as well. So let's go ahead and take a look. So for a quick unboxing, you'll receive a tube like so. And inside, here's what you'll find. Looks like we have a spritzer bottle. It says installation solution. Just go ahead and mix soap and just add water. And if you can see real close, it looks like they have some sort of solution in there already. So just add some warm water in here and you're good to go. And see what else is in here. You have the directions that you can use the QR code or go to their website. Uh, it's a pretty uh, straightforward process, which I'll show you. And inside the tube, let's see what we got here. So we have a microfiber towel of really nice quality. There you go. And then you'll also have a squeegee so you can push all of the excess fluids out when it's time to apply. And here we have, all right, so I got two sets. So what you see here is two sets for the speedometer. And then here we have two sets for the infotainment unit right here. So you can get these um, for the 12.3 inch monitors like I have on the Platinum, or they also have one for the eight inch monitor um, for the lower trim levels as well. Um, something about this product, uh, they also have um, two to select from. So you can select from a gloss HD finish, which it really gives you that shine. Or you can also select from a satin matte anti-glare option. Um, in my previous experience, I had that tempered glass version, which was high gloss, but it did still have a lot of glare. So I went with the satin matte uh, finish and we'll see how that looks once it's finally installed uh, some things to note about this product and what I could uh, research uh, on their website um, the film is specifically designed for automotive electronics so again uh, the multimedia unit is touchscreen and so you should have no issues with um, being able to you know go in and out of the different uh, menus with this film and it's meant to protect the touchscreen again and the instrument cluster, which is a cool thing. Um, what we'll do in a second here, I'm gonna show you some of the issues I had with my current um, tempered uh, glass screen protector. And um, we'll go ahead and clean that off, remove that, and I'll show you how I do that. You gotta make sure that the surface is completely clean, dust-free, and one thing to know about this product is it's kind of similar to some of the PPF 
that we've installed on, you know, say, for example, the headlights, um, give it a day, give it 24 hours or less so that if you see haziness or you see bubbles, those will ev eventually fade over time. So I just wanted to give you the heads up that after your, your install, if you do see some some haziness, that's actually normal. Just give it some day, uh, a day or two, and it should go away. All right, so here's the current tempered glass screen protector that I have. Uh, this was from um, Wonderfuls, and for the most part, it looks pretty good, right? Uh, however, it's kind of, um, I pushed it away, but during those hot temperatures, there were these big air bubbles here, here, and here that would form underneath the, the tempered glass, and you can see a little bit of the remnants right over here. You can see that right there, right? See it? Yeah. So I have to like force it out again every time the weather's hot outside. So what I'll go ahead and do and remove this. So hopefully this is an easy process to remove. Got to go nice and slow. I don't want this to shatter. There we go. So this is removed. Put that over here for now. And you can see that the multimedia monitor is still in pristine condition. No fingerprints, no swirl marks on it because I put this on early on once I first bought this Highlander. So next up here is we're gonna go ahead and fill up the water bottle with some of this solution. And we'll go ahead and uh, clean this off and wipe it down with a microfiber towel. And I'll go ahead and do the same here. All right, let's go ahead and clean off the, um, the screen here. I already filled up the bottle with some warm water. Got the microfiber rag that came with the kit. And I got the flexible squeegee right here. So first thing we're going to do is want to give the screen its first cleaning. There we go. And for that first wipe, we're just trying to get off any of the dust and residuals. go streak free clean no dust all right and then on the second pass we'll go ahead and uh, give it another spritz there we go and we'll go ahead and grab the screen protect here and so this side is the non-sticky side and so once you peel it off, you'll go ahead and spritz the adhesive side on the back here. Just take your time with it. There you go. And then we'll go ahead and spritz the back of this. Be liberal with this as well. And from what I can tell from the application process compared to the tempered glass version that I installed, this gives you some more flexibility that once you lay it on, you can actually maneuver it around if you need to like that. See, I can just move it around. Whereas with the tempered glass, once you put it on and it's sticky, it's gonna stay there. So. Just get it to where you want. And then you probably have to, it's really slippery, which is good, right? You see, you're sh I'm shifting it around right now. Just get it to where you want it. And for me, I'm gonna hold it with my two fingers at the bottom. And then once it's where I want it to be, then I'll go ahead and use the squeegee and start from the middle and just start working your way out.
first out to the left, and then you fan it out to the right. See a bubble right there, but get, get that out of the way. Very painless process. Let's wipe it off as it drips off to the sides. Get this other side as well. The squeegee is really cool because of the flexibility. Really just pushing it all out. You look at the bottom here. Get any of that excess. Again, this is a satin matte version. They do have the HD gloss version that has more shine. So decide which one you want. That's easy peasy. I'd be more than happy to give up some of that shine if that means the glare is removed. Because y'all know in those hot summer days when the sun is just beating down on the infotainment unit, that glare can be brutal. Especially if I'm on a road trip, I want to make sure I can see my Android Auto and Google Maps as uh, it's giving me directions. All right, so I just got done cleaning the speedometer and this is uh, an area that I have not previously protected um, the plastic. And after I cleaned it with the solution with the microfiber towel, I noticed that I ended up leaving some swirl marks that I cannot remove. So I don't know if you can tell, you can see those up and down swirl marks there. I can't get those out. So that sucks, but let's see if this um, screen protect can mask those swirl marks once I install it on. Give it another wipe, make sure we get all the dust off. I gotta say, this microfiber towel that they supplied is pretty premium quality here. All right, now we'll go ahead and spray it again. Get it ready for application. Then, in the background here, I'm just peeling off the protectant film. Lay this right in here. And it looks like there's room where um, you can tuck this screen protector. You see me is shifting around right now. You can tuck it underneath uh, the plastic right here. Just get it to exactly where you want. Get this side down. Make sure all sides. Good for me. Start pushing it down. Okay. 
having this squeezy be flexible instead of like a hard piece of plastic is definitely helpful because there's a curvature on this piece of plastic right here. So it just folds along with it, which is good. You know, when I first um, got the original screen protector, I didn't think there was a need to protect the speedometer gauge because it's not like it's touch screen or you would be touching it that often. But after I realized that if you do clean your car from time to time and you do use a microfiber towel, well, guess what? That fiber and microfiber towel actually will cause swirls on this plastic part that I was not aware of. So having this, hopefully, once I squeeze all this water out, let's see if it actually hides any of those swirls that were there before. All right, let me finish this because this tablet is in my face. It's making it hard for me to see. So let me just finish this up and I'll show you the final product here. All right, so here's what the satin mat protection looks like after the installation. And I can tell that um, it is a bit hazy still, but they say give it a 24 hours for that to go away. So I'll report back if it does clear up. But I gotta admit, this is a clean, easy installation. And you can get it in two versions. The HD gloss, if you like that shine, or the satin matte finish for the um, extra anti-glare effect, which is what I have right now. Like I mentioned, I will put a link in the description with the discount code if you want to pick this up. And for the price of getting not only the infotainment protection, you also get the speedometer uh, protection as well. I think that's uh, a pretty good added value there to get both of them. All right, so it's been four days since I installed the Protect screen protectors. And I want to um, mention up front that initially when I installed this, um, there was some hazing to it, but that was to be expected. And it eventually went away after a couple of days. Now, this is the satin matte finish. They do have the um, Ultra HD clear version as well. And so if you decide to get this version, from my experience, it works for me. Uh, it will um, reduce the sun glare out on the roads. However, I will admit up front that compared to the HD clear, uh, you can tell the difference between the two. So if you go with a matte finish, just know that you might sacrifice a little bit in clarity, but it still works for me. Now, when you take a look at the actual uh, speedometer, this is where I found out that it truly shines. So remember those little um, micro scratches uh, that I shared with you before? Well, now when I take the light and I shine it over, those little scratches are gone can't even see it anymore so that is a big plus shows me that this not only will protect this plastic but it would also hide any previous scratches that you might have had uh, previously um, one thing I will admit this right here is most likely the HD um, clear version it's it's really super shiny and, and clear looking and when I installed this this one actually did have a lot of air bubbles. And so um, they say that it does take a couple days for that to naturally um, clear up after the product has an opportunity to cure. However, for me, it took four days instead of two for it to finally clear up. And I have a feeling 
it had to do with uh, the fact that um, the temperatures has been a little bit chillier. It's been around 60 degrees in here in Seattle. And I think that with more, um, uh, you know, if you're in a warmer area, it would cure a lot faster. So that's something to keep in mind. So if you're installing this and you're installing it in say 70, 80 degree weather, then the curing process uh, will take a little bit faster if it's in warmer temperatures. So yeah, I actually give this two thumbs up. Uh, for this product, not only do you get the speedometer, but you also get the navigation screen protection. And again, use my code and get a bit of a discount off of this. Thanks for watching. Take care, everyone. Peace.